Come on out here, Cheryl. <laughs> I got it. For, for those who don't know, the Daisy Award is a, an award that was created about 10 years ago by the J. Patrick Barnes family to recognize exceptional nursing care. And we started it here in Iowa about uh, six years ago now. We've had a number of daisies, but not any better than Cheryl. And uh, it, it, this, we were going to have, we're going to, I just want to give you a little bit of background on the daisy board. Uh, Patrick Barnes was a young adult who died of uh, idiopathic thrombocytopenia at Hutchinson Cancer Center in Seattle. And the family was so touched by the difference that nursing made by his life at the end of his life that they just became huge ambassadors for nursing. And they started out with just a small award on the West Coast, and now it's gone nationally. And uh, I'm very, very proud to have so many days of nurses right here in Iowa. So yours is very special. Um, and actually, we're going to start by reading, uh, having Pat tell us a little bit about you and your career here, and then we're going to have Jody Hirsch read the nomination that she submitted for you. <laughs> Go ahead. So, Cheryl, you have to correct me if I'm wrong. Come over here. Start, you started here in January 2000 as a staff nurse in June 2000. Well, they gave it wrong. In 2000, as a staff nurse in IPCU, and then in 2002, you were an assistant nurse manager in IPCU, and in April of 2003, you were an interim nurse manager in IPCU, and then we got you in, um, you went to a staff nurse 2003 in IPCU, and then came here to the ED in August 2004. Right. So she is certified as a um, CEN. Cheryl is also a paramedic volunteer. Hit that locally, button. Please lot, hit the button. With her Please. services, Eliza County. Eliza County. Um, she is a charge nurse, a triage nurse, which their expertise makes you that here in the ED. This isn't a surprise to us that you did what you did. Um, she is on the, has been on the nurse staff scheduling committee, a preceptor for many ADN as well as BSN students new ED hires, um, EMS students of all sorts, because that is another passion of Cheryl's. Um, she loves working 01 to 07 when we have those holes. <laughs> she is like our champion when we are really desperate for staffing. She, we can always count on Cheryl to pick that up. Anyway, she's very well deserving. Thank you. Thank you, yeah. Cheryl. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, on July 17, 2013, I was called to the ED to assist with a patient issue. The patient had arrived in the ED, transferred from an outside hospital for complaints of suicidal ideation and homicidal ideation. She was prepared to admit herself voluntarily to our psych unit, but would not do so unless her service dog could accompany her. A team was assembled to discuss whether the dog could be admitted. But due to the fact that it would be in the psych unit and no adult would be available to care for the dog, we advised the patient that reasonable accommodations could not be made for her dog. The patient was very upset and refused to be admitted. An involuntary commitment was being discussed when I was advised that Cheryl had very graciously volunteered to drive the dog to the patient's daughter's home. As no adult family member or friend was available to deliver the dog to the daughter, the only alternative would have been to board him, and even the ability to do that was doubtful due to area boarding requirements and fees. The patient immediately agreed to the plan to have Cheryl drive the dog to her daughter's house, um, as Cheryl had been with her since her arrival in the ED, and she was comfortable allowing Cheryl to take the dog to her daughter. The daughter lived in Centerville, Iowa, a two and a half hour drive from Iowa City. Cheryl had already been working all day, would not be off her shift until 7.30 p.m., and would then leave with the dog. By the time she got back home, it must have been well after midnight. Cheryl's offer to take care of the dog took care of what was a very difficult situation for the patient and the staff. The patient was immediately less, less agitated and consented to the voluntary admit to the psych ward. The ED staff was relieved that the patient was happier and could be safely placed. The dog was happy to be taken home by such a wonderful, caring nurse. So it is with great pleasure that I nominate Cheryl Chanel for a DAISY Award as she exemplifies all that a nurse, or really anyone, 
should be willing to go that extra mile, not only for her patients, but for all those in the patient's life, even their four-legged friends. She is an example for all of us of the kind, compassionate, and giving spirit we strive for here at UNHC. So, congratulations, and this comes with all kinds of goodies. It comes with a big banner that will hang here with your name on it for a whole month. So that will be here. It comes with a certificate that has your name on it, and there will be a copy of the nomination in here. It comes with a statue called the Healer's Touch, which the Barnes family commissions from Zimbabwe. It actually supports a village there, the, the production of these statues. Whoops. And uh, it comes for, with, for the whole team uh, cinnamon rolls. So uh, those are down there because every Daisy nurse usually says it takes a village and yep. I'm one of a team. So something for the whole team. So yes, and then we get lots of photo ops because your photo will go up on the wet panels okay. on the national website and everything. So yeah, I'll have this here. So we usually start with the 